This is why I see from the future. I forgot to let y'all know that, listen, I'm going to be giving away three of these RT25s. And all you got to do is drop a like on this video and head down to the comment section below and drop me a comment about anything. But make sure you include your Instagram handle. So if you win, I can reach out to you and get the slice shipped out to you. I'm going to do this in about a week and it's going to be completely random. So go ahead and drop a comment down below. Back into the video. While this light that I'm about to talk about isn't necessarily super innovative to me, I think that Small Rig has tried to enter themselves into this budget category with the very competitive pricing of this light. And I think this might be one of the best options in the budget category with one gripe that I'll talk about here in a second. So this light right here is the RT25 by Small Rig. And it has some things going for it. Now, why in the world would you want a wand light with all of the different cob light options out there? For me, when it comes to wand lights, this is the light that I want to take with me whenever I'm out just shooting. If I'm taking photos and I want an accent light, this is going to be the light that I want. If I'm out, I'm traveling light and I want a light to be able to make some motivated lighting setups, this is going to be the light that I take. If I'm just out shooting, these are the types of lights that I take. They're extremely portable. They have built-in batteries. They're RGB. So these are all pluses whenever you're just out creating stuff. You can't take a cob light with you the majority of the time because you need an external power source. And sometimes you just don't want to take a big V-Light battery. Now, the cool thing about this light is that the handle of it is a detachable battery. But if you don't want to use that battery and you just want this to be more lightweight, you can actually power via power delivery as well through USB-C. Another really convenient thing about this wand light is that it has a ton of different mounting points. You got a quarter 20 at the bottom. You also have quarter 20s all up the back of it with RA locking pins. You also have this extremely long NATO rod that you can use with different NATO accessories to mount this. Now, earlier I talked about how I don't necessarily think this light is super innovative. It has pretty much everything out there that you would expect in a light at this price point in 2024. You got lighting effects, things like cop car effect, paparazzi, color cycle, pretty much all the lighting effects that we've seen over the past couple of years it has inside of this. It's full RGB, which is awesome if you take this out and you're planning on using this for motivated lighting setups, or you just want to get some cool stylistic stuff, you can do that with the RGB inside of it. This light has a 25 watt output, which on paper doesn't sound like it's a lot, but if you're going to be using this as an accent light, this is more than enough. I'm even using the RT25 to key light this video right here. I have a sheet of diffusion in front of this because I feel like wand lights can feel a bit saucy at times, but the great thing about that is that I just pulled this out of one of my lighting modifiers that I had down in the garage. So if you already got like a light dome, something like that, you can get a sheet. You can also purchase diffusion sheets off of Amazon for extremely cheap. So this wouldn't be something that you would have to spend a ton of money on to replicate a look or an effect like this. One thing that I really do like about the RT25 is that it comes with these detachable barn doors. And these do a great job of allowing you to shape the light. And a lot of the other budget options that I've purchased and tried out in the past couple of months for Amazon filmmaking gear videos, they don't come with any sort of modifiers. You just got to use them as is. And the spill on a warm light is extremely wide, but these built-in barn doors make it really cool for you to be able to shape the light however you need to. Another really cool thing about this light is that it's IP54 waterproof rated. So if you want to take this out or use it on a misty day, you don't have to worry about the rain getting into it. It comes with a really cool carrying case as well. So if you do plan on traveling with this and having this be a lightweight option when you're on the go, this is also a great addition, especially for the price. But that's the light. That's all of the specs. And just reading them off, it doesn't really seem that exciting as a light, but for the price and for all of the other options that I've tried in this price range, the way that this one is built is extremely well. I love the fact that the battery handle has an indicator for how much battery you have left. It's never just gonna randomly turn off when, you, when you're shooting, you're always gonna have that warning of knowing like, okay, this is on the verge of dying. The menu is extremely simplistic. You're gonna have no problem navigating through it, choosing whatever effects you need, choosing a hue that you need. I think this is a super solid light. Where is my gripe with this light? As someone who films themselves, one thing that makes my life so much easier is being able to control a light on an application. I don't have to get up, go adjust the intensity of the light, come back, look at the monitor, see if it's lit well, see if it's too bright, see if it's too dim, see if the color's off. This is the biggest hassle of using a light that does not have application control. And this light, to my knowledge, just does not have app control. Now, this might not be a problem at all for the people who are out there using this light to film projects, to film clients, to film interviews, to film music videos, all that good stuff like that. Because most of the time, you're behind the camera. But when you're in front of the camera, it makes your life just a little bit harder because you gotta go back and do a lot of tinkering with lights to make sure that you look good on the camera. In the future, Small Rig, I would love to see lights like this have app control. For the people who film themselves, 
it just makes the process of filming yourself so much easier. But for the price and for all the other competition that I've tried out there, I think that this is one of the best options. I've used the RT25 in a handful of situations over the past few weeks that I've been using it. I'm using it right now for this talking head. I've used it to film B-roll for an upcoming project that I'm doing. I've also taken it out just to film some cinematic setups and use it as the light to motivate the ambience in the scene. And it's done its job for all of that. I do also really like the fact that you can use power delivery. Like right now I'm using a V-Lock battery and I'm just using it to power every single thing over here. I don't have to worry about having the handle charged, but just having it as an option is a great thing. So that's the RC25, it's coming in at 180 US dollars. If you don't care about app control, this light right here, super solid. While I don't think that it's super innovative, it's something that we haven't seen on the market, the build for it, the light quality, the features, I think this is a solid option for the price. If you guys are interested, it's going to be links down in the description for you guys to get one. Also, if you guys are interested in getting one of these for completely free, all you got to do is drop a comment down below. Include your Instagram handle. You can say whatever you want. I'm going to go through in a week and randomly choose three people to receive one of these RT25s for completely free. So good luck to y'all. Go ahead and drop this video a like if you enjoyed it. But with that being said, I'm out, y'all. Peace. Thank you.